Hello everybody, welcome back to the Advanced Vape channel. Uh, we finally made it to the final episode of building a DNA 250 color. Uh, this has been really difficult to, to do on camera and it's been uh, probably the hard, hardest build that I've done in a while uh, solely because of that. Um, so I'm kind of glad that it's over, but I think it turned out really well. Um, in the last episode, I went over to Indiana and did the laser thing. Um, obviously you can do whatever you want with it and you know maybe I'll, I'll change this design at some point but here it is finally all I'll put together and as you can see with the the final assembly and everything this battery fits in here absolutely perfectly um, I didn't know that it would be such a perfect fit. I saw in the measurements that it, it should fit, but uh, if you remember from the beginning, I thought it was going to be really close, but it actually is perfect. So it's not actually um, making any contact here. There's no pressure on the battery with the 510, so it's not squeezed in there. Uh, it just fits in there perfectly, and I could pull it out, but I have it kind of situated in there well. So um, nothing rattles around when I move it, so you know maybe these buttons just a little bit but nothing inside moves around so that's good and uh, it, it ended up turning out better than I thought it would with this battery so I'm really happy with the overall um, part choices on this except the there are a couple things that I would probably do differently um, if I was making this again uh, the, the main thing would be this button um, not really a fan of this button I got it because it was a dome top and it was going with these dome top buttons and so I thought it would kind of match but the the actual feel of this button is I'm not really a fan of it it has a really long travel uh, until it actually starts firing so it just feels kind of awkward I would go with a, a click gear button which is what I normally do so uh, not a huge deal but just something if I build on this enclosure again I'm definitely gonna go with a different button and probably one of the shorter ones that that can be soldered uh, another thing that I've noticed all of the atomizers that I've put on here have been reading perfectly except for the reload RTA for some reason uh, the reload on this mod is just all over the place so I need to maybe clean the contacts on the the reload but it, it reads okay on other things so I, I'm, I'm I'm not thinking that this is a problem with this mod, but uh, it is something that I noticed. Uh, other atomizers are reading perfectly. Um, I use the default uh, internal resistance when I plug this into eScribe, which was like 0 .0004, I believe. Um, you can actually calculate your own if you put some thick copper onto an atomizer. Um, and read the resistance of that in the atomizer analyzer uh, and I think that some companies actually sell little dedicated things that you can screw on there that'll tell you the internal resistance of the mod um, I don't have one of those I went with the default um, I checked the resistance of the wires when uh, before I put the 510 on by touching them together and that was 0 .0003 so um, adding in the 510 I figured that's pretty much where the default was so uh, I stuck with that and it seems to be reading dead on uh, except for that one atomizer uh, as far as other settings on eScribe I'm not really going to talk about eScribe because that could be a whole other video um, it does seem to be different and simplified from the DNA 250 days so um, there is no battery uh, settings to mess with which was a critical thing to do with the DNA 200 and the 250 uh, it kind of figures that out on its own and, and you can run a battery analyzer to get the exact amount but uh, to do that you have to uh, plug it in and fully discharge the battery which takes a long time and you need resistors and stuff to do that so I haven't done that but um, everything seems to be working okay I did install uh, a custom theme on here there there are tons of them out there for free online uh, this is just a random one that I found and it seems to work well but you can change that at any time um, I'll probably put some kind of more customized thing on there in the future but uh, for now it seems to be 
working pretty well um, with this theme on here. Yeah, overall, it, it was it was an interesting build, and I really like this enclosure. I, I think this will kind of be the my standard enclosure from now on. It's a little bit big, but uh, it was pretty fun to build with. Uh, except for the button, all of the parts, I think, fit really well with it. Um, that battery is just such a perfect fit in there. So I, I think... You know, maybe I'll do a video if you guys want about eScribe stuff, but I wasn't really going to talk about that too much. Setting this up with um, this mod was pretty easy. All, all that you really need to do is the manufacturer tests with it, and the eScribe explains how to do that. Um, but basically, it, it checks the battery, makes sure that it's charging, checks the resistance, and makes sure that it's right, um, and fires, and makes sure that that works. So uh, there's... There's just a little utility inside eScribe um, called the production utility, I think. Uh, after you switch eScribe into manufacturer mode, it, it's available. And it just does a couple quick tests. And, and I'm guessing that if you buy a DNA device from a manufacturer, that's the test that they run on it. So I did that and everything passed. Um, if it doesn't pass, then you probably have a problem with your battery or some some situation with you setting it up was was wrong but um yeah that that's the only mainly the only thing that i did with the e-scribe uh, was the production thing and the internal resistance everything else seemed like it was okay but you can tweak the um material settings and everything if you want to do the temp control stuff but i'm not going to go into all that um, i would like to know if you guys would like me to build build something else uh, in another series of videos. So I was thinking about making a Squonk or a PWM, uh, some kind of MOSFET mod, something like that. So if you guys have any interest in me doing that, let me know uh, what you would like to see me build, if anything. And uh, the next videos are just going to be back to reviews. So I think that'll bring us to the end of this series on the DNA250 color. It's been fun to do. Um, so yeah, let me know if you'd like me to, to build something else, and we'll see you back for reviews. Thanks.